So hello everyone, this is Anna Bish, and I am currently a second year student at IIT Kanpur, pursuing B Tech in Civil Engineering. And today we have with us Hari Shankar, and he is from IIT Kharagpur, pursuing a dual degree in Ocean Engineering and Naval Architecture. So over to you. Like, uh, could you tell us about yourself a bit and introduce yourself? Okay, hi everyone. My name is Hari Shankar. I am currently a fifth year uh, dual degree student at IIT Kharagpur. I am. Uh, I'm from Ocean Engineering and Naval Architecture branch. Uh, I'm from uh, Kerala. So, that's it. Okay. So, like, my first question to you is, like, uh, what made you choose uh, this branch during your JOSA counseling? So, it, it's uh, not really a popular branch, uh, Ocean Engineering and Naval Architecture. So, right. naturally, I, I, I didn't, I wasn't aware of it, uh, you know, till the right. end. So, uh, what made me choose it was uh, I liked uh, physics and math during my uh, uh, 11th and 12th preparation. Right, so, right. And, uh, and my rank was around, advanced rank was around 9,000. So, and uh, I didn't want to go for pure physics and uh, my right. rank was low for taking uh, mechanical hmm. and I didn't like computer science or something software related. So, the, hmm. this was uh, like the next best option. So, that's why I chose this time. Okay, okay, that's great. So, like, could you explain to us, like, what is ocean engineering and naval architecture all about? Like, could you explain it in name and term? Like, if you're, like, explaining it to a student who's, like, willing to join an IIT uh, with uh, this branch in an IIT. So, like, how could you explain to that person? Yeah, uh, first of all, this ocean engineering and naval architecture, it's actually two different right. things. That you, from the name itself, you can right, right. figure out it. So, First part is like ocean engineering is a, like a really old profession. Hmm. Like it's been like naval architects have been around since you know people started, people started making boats. So now what what a naval architect usually does it he we deal with mostly the structural part of the right. ship. Like the hull. You can if you want to explain to some you can say that we design the hull. Hmm. We so uh, making a ship is it's not just uh, one. It just uh, like it's not just uh, a set of engineers who make the ship. Like it is a multidisciplinary process. Like there are structural engineers, electrical engineers, like uh, people for mechanical for the engine part. So like we just we are just one part of the whole process. We mostly design the hulls. So right. how how to better design the hull so that we can increase the performance or stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, so like uh, um... okay, engineering. Right. Yeah, the second ah, part I right. didn't explain. Right. Then o ocean engineering mostly uh, it is also like a broad branch. We can hmm. you can study about the ocean. Oceanography is a part of ocean engineering. Uh, you can study about offshore structures, like well, and uh, maybe you can also study about subsea structures. Ocean right. engineering is a relatively new field if you compare it hmm. to naval architecture. Naval architecture. So lots of opportunities. Yeah, hmm. lots of opportunities in ocean engineering uh, with the renewables and all that. Okay, so like that was a, like a great introduction and insight about this branch. So like my next question to you is like there are a lot of certain notions surrounding certain branches like mechanical engineering and like even this one if we uh, could say ki, matab, uh, this branch is not meant for girls or this branch is not meant for like certain type of people. So like uh, what's your take on this? Uh, do you think like is this branch like suitable for girls? Uh, so now I haven't felt anything that uh, can't be like uh, there was in, there is right. something in this branch that the girls can't do. Like, right. it's, it's all about interest. If you're interested, I think there are many opportunities. And hmm. with the, recently, with the like companies are like looking to diversify more, so right. they want uh, like a, a certain proportion of their workforce to be women, right. and also like they are encouraging women to take up uh, like more positions. Like right, exactly. Positions. So I don't I don't think it will be it's hard or like anything different. Hmm. Yeah. So, like, what were the major electives or courses that you have studied so far in this branch? And, like, what skills do you think, like, this branch has helped you nurture? So, if you have a, a passion for physics, I think uh, right. it will be uh, very, uh, you'll find it, uh, things very intuitive. Like, if you have a good base from 11th and 12th, I think that will be a good starting point. Hmm. I think I'm in the fifth year now and, uh, you know, I have pretty much covered all the courses. Uh, 
and i still think my base was uh, like what i studied in 12th standard so right if you if you have a you know interest for uh, solving physics problems like those mechanic problems and all right. so i think it, it it's uh, yeah okay so like and like uh, could you name like a few electives or courses that you studied so that so like we just have an outlook yeah something uh, my, personally uh, something i uh, uh, like most about this branch is uh, something called hydrodynamics right so you in 12th you learn about fluid statics right so then mm-hmm. when you come here you learn about fluid dynamics dynamics so right. something that is something uh, very interesting that is one of the like hmm. then coastal engineering so i lean mostly towards ocean engineering part of the course okay. naval architecture is it, it's it's not something i was really interested in hmm. so most of the electives i took was in the field of ocean engineering surrounding this ocean uh, engineering right yes coastal uh, coastal engineering uh, offshore structures design of offshore structures uh, numerical techniques in that uh, wave modeling things like that so okay. really interesting Okay, so like uh, moving on to the internships and placement um, section, like could you share a bit about your internships or research projects that you've done so far? Yeah, so mostly uh, outside campus, I've done uh, three internships. Okay. So first one was I guess in uh, NIO, yeah, yeah, National Institute of Oceanography, it was in Goa. Right. I did it in my third year summer, and. Uh, yeah that was the first one uh, i you can mail the profs there right, right? If, you, if you have interest in what right, are they right. working you can check their profiles and they'll reply to you and uh, the second one i did was uh, th- this was an online project with a prof in korea uh, like seoul okay. national university so this was uh, related to some machine learning ai type related mm-hmm. to our field like a combination of ocean engineering right. and with uh, data Uh, something like that so that too, i i think i contacted him through linkedin and okay. he directly applied to me so basically and like you got one, uh, both uh, like basically you got both of your research and internships through cold emailing right yes cold emailing no you have to just it wasn't actually cold emailing you have okay. to uh, study what they are interested in right right and cool. just uh, you know customize your emails accordingly right. So okay. then that so like basically you researched about the projects on their respective yeah. websites and then you like mailed or messaged them via linkedin about yeah. it yeah okay so you and were saying I, yeah the last internship was uh, at indian registry of shipping right so it, it's it was in mumbai okay and uh, there i worked on uh, offshore renewables offshore wind turbines so hmm. something i'm interested in so there too i guess Uh, you can just uh, email mail their hr i had some contacts earlier in uh, irs so that's how i got the uh, internship okay okay so that's, that's my three internship hmm. and other than that i have uh, you can if you come here you can directly if you're in the second year or third year once you get the basics uh, of such subject, subjects you can uh, approach the professors in right. your department or other department for yeah, like check their profiles what they're working on and they can take you in for the project they're working on Hmm. So, like, uh, what uh, do you want to say about like the core job opportunities for graduates that we have, like, in this branch in your college, and like, what do you think is the scope in terms of job opportunities and future growth of this branch? So, naval art, the naval architecture profession, it's right now in a stagnation state. So right. I, there aren't much opportunities in India as such. Hmm. uh and uh, i guess uh, like the if you if you're freshly a graduate like of the fourth year program i don't think you know uh, you'll get uh, the pay that is expected that if you study from some right. where like iit and you will expect a certain amount of salary right, exactly. when you graduate hmm. i don't think you will get that uh, if you're looking okay. for four jobs so one so it's i think it's better uh, like it, this course better sets you up for higher studies if hmm. you want to do an ms or a phd and abroad i think there are a lot of opportunities uh, especially in the oceanography uh, field lots of opportunities uh, with these uh, renewables and uh, lots of research going on right. so i think so I, for job i don't think it's a 
uh, as a fresh graduate i don't think it's there is a much job opportunity in the market right okay so like um uh, as you said that uh, you think like there are not many job opportunities so like uh, what do you want to comment on the placements that happen in your college in the core brands and like what are the top companies who recruit and their major roles that they offer like if you know about it so major roles they offer is uh, uh, a few companies come for uh, this uh, core profile i think the four or five hmm. so and most people like also like uh, most people they uh, when they graduate i think they go for a non core job right. like when they graduate from naval arts center but of the companies that come for core they mostly recruit you in the naval naval architect junior naval architect profile or there are some companies like exxon mobil that used to come they take you as a structural engineer uh, uh, like a design check engineer hmm. or something like that yeah. yeah so there are a few opportunities in core but not much otherwise you will have to try for uh, you know off campus interviews uh, you will have right. to put in your own effort so like in general like we can say that major students like prefer like what uh, do you have to say on this like what stream do major students prefer like they go for core or like they go for non core yeah as i said uh, as i said uh, when you like if you're a four year student of the course like it's not like it, it's not uh, the naval architecture profession it requires some you know on field experience right. it's not hmm. it's not something that you can write away learn from the books and right, exactly. go and straight apply it so you need some experience so yeah. you need to <clears throat> so, uh, so people won't uh, at least people right now they won't they don't want that uh, right. to work at hmm. uh, lower, uh, for a lower pay and uh, you know to build up experience right. they just exactly. want to go for a higher pay job so Hmm. so the, they try to choose known for uh, software okay. jobs or analytics or something like that so hmm. mostly people go for known for jobs okay so like in your opinion yeah. like uh, uh, is this like branch tough to study like compared to other branches like mechanical and <coughs> chemical no com- come compared to chemical i cannot i don't know because it's not okay hmm. but compared to mechanical i guess it's uh, very easy to study because mechanical you know there it's a like a vast branch right they hmm. teach you different stuff right it covers a lot of might like, not hmm. yeah you might not be interested in all of those things right i understand and this <laughs> is like i think this is a very like specific field like to study and so like yeah. the so topic, hmm. if if you are really passionate about this right. field hmm. i think you know you will cover all the things Uh, once when you're in your third year, like up until the third year, all things one, and in the fourth year, it's like a revision of all those things. Right. And if you're if you're select if you're in a five year course like me, like hmm. it's like you can specialize in something, like right. take up a specific problem for your thesis or something like that. So you'll you know really be thorough with the concepts, like when when you reach your fourth year or fifth year, hmm. like it's uh, really easy to study, and it's you know there are us uh, like. Uh, compared to mechanical i can say it is really easy right. and very interesting hmm. too yeah i think like at the end of the day it's it basically depends on your interests also like if like if a person yeah. has interest in a certain branch like you he or she will definitely find it easy yeah right. yeah yeah that too i am not saying that <laughs> mechanical mm-hmm. is hard but for right. some people they may find it interesting exactly I, yeah. I, i was just explaining my case right i totally understand So, like, I think that was all about internship and placements. So, like, uh, talking a more, uh, talking a bit more about your personal experience. So, like, how, um, how has your experience been so far in IIT Kharagpur? Uh, Kharagpur is campus. I think it is you know really peaceful, and I, uh, you know, the academics also. It, uh, you know, you can take your time to study things. It's not right. Uh, they don't impose anything, and like, uh, it's really a you know. laid back peaceful campus right if you want to study yeah you can you know for your passion or something right something like so like also like uh, a lot of the uh, first year students have this question like uh, matlab many of them prefer to like change their branch after the first year so like um, uh, how tough it is to change a branch in iit kharagpur after the first year 
it's not really that tough you know people okay. after 2 years of you know study they just give up you know they just uh, take their time in the first year so right. people don't really put in that effort, effort that they put that, that much effort that right. we have put in jay right right yeah even if you put a fraction of that right. for your study yeah in the first year you can easily get a branch so it's right. not that really hard it's just that hmm. people don't write right right, right. so like uh, in your opinion what do you think like uh, a person should prefer like uh, should it be the branch or the college i think like this is also like very popular question among the students who are jo- joining the college and they have this con- always have this confusion like should we go for a better cro- college or like should we go for a better branch at at some mediocre college so like what's your take on that uh, they do like uh, uh, good college do- colleges do have their advantages because you know, right. it's mostly the about the people you meet here mm-hmm. the exposure that you get these things are really good in a uh, good college like right. IIT tier one colleges so i guess uh, but i cannot really say that uh, you know you should give up what you right. what exactly. you really like and so there should they mm-hmm. finally the decision is there but you know you like you should weigh your options of what branch you're right. getting in that college what you can take here so i can't really comment on that so right okay. the decision yeah right right so like basically we only wanted your take on this like everyone has a different opinion but like uh, the thing that you said about like the people and alumni network like i totally agree with it like i mean uh, the the people that you find here in iits and the work that they do and the connection and network that you make i think that really helps you in the long run that like that might be missing in other colleges yeah that that is correct so even when you are applying for some higher studies if you right. want to go there so they actually have they check the colleges that you are from right i think that ha uh, huh. the iits always have this upper edge over the other colleges that that's really that they really check you know hmm. the college rankings and all that has right. the weightage in your application that's right. something that you can that, that like you cannot do anything about it whatever right. you do, exactly. it's just about the college so that advantage we obviously hmm. have very right, good right. so i think like yeah that was it about the interview so like my one last question to you is like any your any final message to all the students who might be watching this video final message uh, nothing as such if they you know if you're currently uh, studying for g just uh, right. focus on focus on those three subjects physics chemistry right. math don't think too much about the future just uh, right. you know yeah that's my message okay okay thank you thank you so much it was like great uh, talking with you and learning to know about your experience